Mansplaining 101. <laughs> Who saw it coming, but didn't tell anyone. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa, what an ending. What a bloody ending. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love this. This is awesome. Hi, hi, hello! Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to one of three vlogs I'm starting in this position, in this face, whatever. Is it very clever of me or is it very stupid of me? I don't know, we shall see. Editing me will cry. I'm sure of that. Anyway, not why we're here. The vlog we are starting, let's see if I can get the correct order of the book. So, <laughs> that was Tom. So the vlog is for Her Majesty's Royal Coven and also The Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson. And now I don't know if uh, there's going to be more in the series, possibly, I don't know, but these are the two that are out now. Also, Juno Dawson is coming to Yark, so this is why I'm reading these now. Not that I haven't been excited over it reading them because they sound interesting. So, Chatty from... What's the channel called? Wow, memory, don't know. Chatty, her information will be somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, she has been talking about these books. I have tried my best not to listen because I want to read them and for my own opinions and so such, um, but I'm starting them now. Yeah, do I know what they're about? No, but going by the title, Her Majesty's Royal Coven, I'm going Her Majesty British Government. Oh, this is one government department you don't want to mess with. Pure coincidence. Anyway, Royal Coven, I'm guessing witches. So, this is what I'm going with. The Shadow Cabinet. I'm still going witches on that. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, um, let's kind of read the blurb. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hidden, among, Hidden Among Us is a secret coven of the witches. Nailed it. Known as Her Majesty's Royal Coven, they protect the crown and country from magical forces and otherworldly evil. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. By their greatest enemy. But their greatest enemy will come from within. Oh no. It's a game of Among Us. Imposter. Who's the imposter? There are whisperings of a prophecy that will bring the coven to its knees and four bot... Four best friends are about to be caught at the centre. Will Helena Niam? Niam? I don't know. Leo, Leon, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to say any names. Leonie and Elle be able to stop the prophecy before it's too late, or will the difference, differences that have seen them grow apart since childhood be too great to overcome? Life as a modern witch was never simple, but now it's about to get apocalyptic. I love it. Pe <laughs> Prepare to be bewitched by Juno Dawson's first adult series, a story of anticipated prophecies and modern dating and sacred sisterhood and demonic frenemies. Honestly, that sounds like everything you need in a book. Yeah. So... This one I ordered from Amazon because I needed the book now and it didn't take one day, but it said it should, um, but yeah. So this one is actually signed by the author, so I'm going to check. Right, so as a signature. Do I still take it to Yelk and get it personalised? Hell yeah I do. Um, we'll have a laugh about it. Doubly signed. Gotta love it. So, why does it feel like you should be reading this like on Halloween? Hmm. No, I'm excited about it now. 
well, we'll see when I read it, how I'll read it, when it will be finished. I shall be updating as I go along. Also, can we appreciate the pink sprayed edges? Yes. Very simple, but I like it. So yeah, uh, you'll see more on this vlog in the future. Well, in the future for me, it will be like that for you. Hello, update time. Um, I, for some reason, managed to read quite a lot before remembering I should be updating. It happens. So, <laughs> I've read 179 pages, so I'm about to start chapter 21. Um, <laughs> first off, this book reads so easily. Um, this is why I, I kind of read a lot before remembering to update. So it's very easy to read. Bonus. However, I'm having a bit of a hard time keeping track of which character it's which. There's a lot of them. So we, we kind of change point of views, well, every other chapter or so. Uh, well, every chapter. We change point of views a lot. It's a thing. So, let's see if I can remember. So we have, I believe her name is Leonie. The one that lives like, not out in the woods, but she kind of lives like outside of town. So she's a bit secluded. Um, she's not really in the HMRC. HMRC. Her Majesty's Royal Coven. Um, she's not really in it, but she, I mean, it's not something you can leave, leave, but she's not actively working for them, I guess. Um, but now she's found herself to be looking after some little tweenies. So there's, um, there's Theo, which Helena, who's like the head of the HMRC, um, she and her gang, uh, <laughs> They captured him because he was like, he basically blew up his school. Uh, they think he's like, not the Antichrist, but not far from. She, he, they basically think he's a demon born into a human body. Um, Theo seems to be very, very uh, powerful, but he also cannot really control everything so that's why he's with Leone because um, she used to teach little witchlings and such um, yeah also there's Holly so Holly is the daughter of like one of her best friends um, and there's a whole thing there too, too but she's just found out she's a witch and now she's about to be taught. Um, she, <laughs> she seems very fun. Uh, she also seems very fond of Theo, so we shall see about that. And then, uh, like what just happened, uh, is that Helena sent her daughter Snow to Leonie's basically to spy on her because Helena doesn't really believe that um, she's getting all the truth the all the information she wants to hear basically and uh well leonie's obviously she's not that stupid she she was like well i know she's spying on me but shit <laughs> so that's leonie and then i think it's nim who's like well, well we'll take helena so helena is the um the head of the hmrc that's basically all I know about her. Oh yeah, I think her husband Stefan drowned in this war they had previously. Something like that. Oh yeah, um, Leonie's. I, th I don't know if they were married or not, but her man. I think he started with a C. Anyway, um, her her former love has died and she's like, which is kind of why she's not in the HMRC, but he's died 
and she's like it was a long time ago but she has this new dude that comes around that she wants to be just friends but she's also kind of has the hot for him whoops we'll see we'll see how that evolves um he seems nice anyway so helena head of the hmrc basically all i know about her She was apparently the youngest appointed or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's also this old lady, which I, I think she's na her name is Annie. Is her name Annie? She's apparently blind, but she's very wise. Anyway, enough about her. Uh, so, Nim. I think it's Nim. She seems to be like, well, I don't know much about her, but she seems to be like the, um, I'm, I'm a black lady amongst all the white witches, so I'm going to do an uprising kind of a deal. I don't know, but I think we need to keep an eye on her. <laughs> I do believe so. Um, what's the fourth one's name? Shush! Helena... Nim... L. Oh, okay. L. Why can't I remember her name? L. She's Holly's mum. And she has basically married a... Married a non-magic dude. And... Uh, now she has Holly and she has a son too, maybe two. I don't know. She she has kids with this man, and um, uh, basically there's a like a fifty fifty percent chance that um, you don't get witched kids something and she was hoping she hadn't gotten them and now she'd had to have that talk um with holly and holly seems fine with it but now holly also has to like hide that from her family so that's fun for her but we haven't gotten to anything of that sort yet so seems to be cool was that everything i feel like there's a lot more characters and i'm missing <laughs> half of it um like I said, it reads really fast. That is my washing machine beeping and it's very annoying. Um, yeah, it reads very fast. So you kind of just fly through it. It's very exciting. I want to know more. And just looking at it is like, are we going to find out enough in that, these pages? Um, I mean, there's book two ready and waiting. <laughs> But also, because we've barely scratched the surface, it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I have no words. What else is new? My bad. See, I told you I was keep mixing it up. It's uh, Nim who was with Conrad. That's the sea man, and she's the one that's looking off after the kids teaching the kids not leone leone is the other one leone is the one we need to keep an eye on so many people <laughs> right where am i where am i um i have read 279 pages i am about to start chapter 35 e. so scratch what i said about leone previously I don't think we have to like look into her too much not at the moment anyway Helena on the other hand is she a bitch it's is she a witchy bitch <laughs> so Helena had um whose brother is it he's someone's brother Radley, he's someone's brother. Leonie's brother? Anyway, he, um, I think he's the head of the cabal. 
which is the male equivalent of the witchy witches. Um, so Helena had Bradley go kidnap Theo while uh, Helena took all the girls, all the what what did they call them? The the treehouse girls out drinking. On their way back, they find like Holly comes running towards them. Not all of them. It was Nim and Leonie lives in London, isn't it? So she'd gone back, I think. So it was L. L and Nim. Nim? 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 I, I don't know how to say her name. Anyway, those two. Um, Holly comes running towards them and is like, they took Theo, they took Theo. And, uh, yeah, they go back to, like, new, new themes. Oh, fuck's sake. They go, go to her cottage and um, she, like, sort out to goes into a cupboard and uh, brings out a potion that apparently makes you I don't know stronger mo more powerful I'm not sure exactly what that that potion did um but it did something uh it, I don't know courage <laughs> anyway she goes after um to rescue Theo she's a badass I like her Yes. <sighs> yeah. I like her. Also, Theo might be try try try. Also, Theo might or is transgender. So Theo might be a girl. But we don't know much about that yet. It's interesting. There's all the all the things going on. I like it. It's so much fun. Um, at the same time, there's like this story of you know, witches and stuff, but we have the like binary, non-binary, trans, non-trans, cis. What are all the words? I don't. I don't know all the words. Um, people are just people to me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have such a hard time with labels. Um, I, I just see people as people. I'm, I don't know. Um, I try to keep up, but there's so many words. Anyway, besides the point, um, it's so much fun. Uh, I am excited to read more. Honestly, I want to know more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to reading. Bye. I forgot to say. So, uh, while, uh, name, name, whatever, while she's like high on this drug, sort of, um, she goes in, uh, sleeps with Luke. Yeah. Well done. Well, Helena, 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 so, sorry I got distracted by looking at Tom looking very cute in the, in the sofa, um, so, first off, Helena, let's, 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 so, I am, I read, 333 pages, um, I'm about to start chapter 42, um, there we go, so, first, Helena is very much one of those people who's not, like, open-minded, she's very close-minded, so, basically, in her mind, she's like, well, Theo may be trans, may be a girl, but I'm not gonna let a boy into my coven. That's that kind of deal. Um, which is why she had um, Radley kidnap Theo. 
so they can take care of him, her, him, because she thinks there is a him, but there is a her. This is gonna confuse me. Anyway, um, <laughs> so basically, she's that bitch. <laughs> Uh, so, um, like, there was a war previously. I don't know too much about the war. Uh, we just get, like, little bits and pieces here and there. I'm hoping we get, like, more information about it, but maybe later. Um, anyway, so there was this war, and there was this dude called Hale, uh, who was basically leading leading people. He was basically that leader who makes all the little people around him, as it were, do the dirty work. Um, but he's been captured, so um, Helena goes to visit him and is all like, how did you do it? How did you go from like level three into a uh, level six? And he's like, well, I summoned a demon. <laughs> as you do. Um, so she's basically ready to summon a demon, like, into herself to go kill Theo. She's basically that she has too much power and she's afraid to lose it kind of person. That's the vibe I'm getting. Also... She went and killed Granny Annie because Annie could like see the future and um, uh, other than like the oracles, she has a bunch of oracles like in the HMRC, they have like a bunch of oracles that can predict futures and stuff because that's what oracles do. Wow. <laughs> Mansplaining 101. <laughs> Anyway, um, so Annie is the only one, like, outside of, like, the coven to, uh, who, who can, like, tell the other ones, uh, like, Neem and stuff, because she has, uh, she's looking after Theo, and uh, basically Helena sees her as a, like, hindrance, I suppose, um, obstacle. That's the word. So she goes, Helena goes and kills Granny Annie. Who saw it coming, but didn't tell anyone. Oh, Granny Annie. It's exciting. This is very exciting. So, I mean, I hate Helena, obviously. But, um... She's like that very good bad guy you want in a story. So I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving this. Uh it's great. It's great. Why am I just repeating the same word over and over again? I don't know. Um yeah. I'm so excited to see where this is going. Also, I hope we find out more about the war. Like, the only thing we really know about the war is that it happened, like, eight years ago or something, and, uh, Conrad died in it, and, uh, Stefan died in it, did he? I think. Um, and then, basically, uh, the coven, as it were, they took the decision to wipe the memory of, like, the population, all the non-magic population, to, so, you know, they wouldn't be living with that as well. Because, you know, which trials happened earlier in life. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so we don't know a whole lot about that. But, still very exciting. Don't have a lot. I have just that little bit left. So, not a whole lot. Curious to see where this is going. Also, there's book two. So, there's that. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. So, I finished. Her Majesty's Royal Coffin. I don't know what that voice was, but it was. So, where did I live off? Basically, what an ending. What a bloody ending. So, Helen, Hel Helen, Helena, she goes and uh, summons the demon. Um, possess get possessed by said demon and wreaks havoc like a lot <laughs> so basically with this demon power she um uh, is now super strong so she grabs all the witches in the coven well as many as she can anyway and she goes and storms um neem neem neems that that girls uh she goes after her and Theo because she needs to kill Theo. Yeah. Um, they obviously get kind of an, uh, I don't know, forewarning of some sort. Um, intuition. Which is intuition? I don't know. Um, and they start to go on the run. There's like this... Not really a battle, but almost. There's a chase. There's a showdown. Wow. Wow. Um, eventually, <laughs> it leads to, well, Helena loses, basically. And she gets executed. Now, I want to know why they needed to go such to such strength to get uh, to execute Helena while they've been keeping Hale who also summoned a demon and you know tried to take over the world more or less but he's been kept prisoner but yeah Helena has to be executed they basically did the same thing um more or less <sighs> yeah so Snow Helena's daughter basically um promises to seek revenge on neem neem whatever her name is um when she you know grows up <laughs> she's gonna get some power and she's gonna fight um i mean they did try to like stop the execution but the 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 other coven well the whole coven was like nah we're gonna do this so they burned her yeah so that happened <laughs> meanwhile hale escapes so now we have this madman on the loose excellent we uh we we know we have bad guys for book two cool <sighs> also so Niam ni ni I don't know uh, she goes to visit her twin sister who's in hospital basically so her twin sister Kira she was like on Hale's side being possessed by demon and wreaking havoc and things um she goes to see Kira and Kira's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they do a body swatch. What? What? And the book bloody ends with um, Kira in Neams, whatever her name is, her body killing her sister Neam uh, that's in Kira's body, who's, you know, paralyzed, but, you know, Put, put in the pillow and like choking the life out of her. Now we don't know if she's dead or not, but all signs point to that, which sucks because she's just gotten with Luke and Theo, 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 Theo um, is going to school now and doing things. 
it was almost a happy ending for them. I'm so curious to see what happens next there. Honestly, my ear is super itchy as well. It's not, this is not helping me. Um, also, during that whole battle scene thing, Theo sort of like starts to glow and uh, Theo goes through a change. So, Theo, uh, now on the outside actually looks what she's, she feels she's been on the inside. I don't know how to explain that. Uh, basically, she actually looks like a girl now. Hell yeah. That scene, I might have shed some tears. Those was, I love that. I love that. Go Theo, yes. Um, oh, gorgeous, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, yeah. That was a wild ride. That was a wild ride. I love it. I loved it so much. So now I'm gonna put this book on the shelf. Couldn't really see that, could you? <laughs> anyway, on to book number two, which has this pink sprayed edges. Um, I'm so excited. I'm stupidly excited about this. Uh, I have a fear that... I have a fear that this is going to end with... We'll see you in book three! <laughs> well, if there's a book three coming, book three better come quick because I don't think I can take a cliffhanger. Another cliffhanger like that in this one and then have to wait for like a year because when did this come out this didn't come out too long ago so if there's a book three i'm not gonna look i'm so not gonna look at the end pages um so if there's a book three it's not gonna come out until like next summer that's gonna kill me i know there's like loads of books out there coming and and stuff but that was a cliffhanger and a half and I'm so happy I have book two here because obviously I need to read it now and I'm gonna. I might get more coffee in me because I'm obviously staying up all night reading this book now. Why do I look terrified? Because I kind of feel terrified, I'm not gonna lie. Well, um, I'm not gonna be too toxic to myself but I do, uh, I will. I will read this book starting now. It's like it's like 8 p.m. I have a good couple of hours left. It's fine. Uh, hopefully, I will sleep, and I'll probably finish this in the morning if I don't stay up all night. Jeez! Oh, I'm so excited. All is not as it seems within the halls of Her Majesty's Royal Cover. No shit. No fucking shit. Honestly, I love this, and I'm going to read this now, so see ya. Juno Dawson, I have a question. <laughs> I haven't even gotten past, like, the, well, well, I got past the dedication. I haven't even gotten to the first chapter. Ooh. So, we have a quote by King James I, and then we have a quote by Donald Trump. Why? Why does he need to be sullying this book? I don't know. Um, while we're here... Oh my goodness. I don't know what this is. Witches of Europe! <gasps> this is cool. King Solomon said to possess dominion over demon kind. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, hey, let's read this. Okay, one. Alice Kytella, I don't know, Kytella, I don't know, Island, accused of witchcraft in the early 1300s, fled into hiding. Two. Ursula Southdale, UK, Mother Shipton, legendary oracle. Three. Joan of Arc, France, burned at the stake in 1431. 
Lavoisin, I don't know, I can't speak French, France, burned publicly in 1680. Maria de Arburo, Spain, one of six women burned at the stake. Basque, Basque witch trials. Six, George Hahn, Germany. Georg Han. Georg. Don't, sorry. Uh, Germany died 1628 during the Bamberg witch trials along his family. Seven, Esotta Stella, Italy, tortured to death during the Triora witch trials in 1587. Marlin Matsdotter, Sweden, last person in Stockholm to be executed for witchcraft in 1676. Cersei, ancient Mediterranean legendary witch founder of the lost sanctuary of Aea Aea Tan Georgi Rasputin Ra Ra Rasputin No Um Russia noted healer assassinated in nineteen sixteen that was that late Okay uh, King Solomon Agent Israel Lived circa 900 BC and said to possess dominion of a demon kind. Um, I love it how like um, real people, people of history, um, is integrated into this story. Uh, also, <gasps> Affleck's Palace. That's in Manchester. Oh, it's map of Manchester. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm so clever. Ooh, Her Majesty's Royal Coven Headquarters floor plans. Why do I feel like there's going to be a break in Mission Impossible style? I love this. Okay, who's who? <gasps> Ooh, oh, I love this. This. Okay, so this is like what all books need, especially, um, you know, second books and such. Um, where you basically, 35 years ago, no, where, okay, so here's, um, name stated, level 5 adept, <gasps> oh, last scene visiting her comatose sister, Ciara, Kiara. I love this, this is awesome. I do kind of need some um, pronunciation guide as well. So if I can have that, perfect. Okay, bye. Morning. It's the next day. Um, I um, I I read a bit. I I've read like most of the book. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay. I'm telling you, this book just hooks you in and it's so bloody easy to read that you just continue oh anyway so where am i i uh i've read 310 pages i'm just gonna read for a little bit then i'm gonna sleep a little bit 300 pages sure um i'm just about to start chapter 38 um Right, right, so this book feels more like an episode, or maybe several episodes, in a, like, long-standing TV series. So it's more like we're dropping in and checking in on different characters and such. So let's see if we can remember said characters, shall we? So Theo, who is now an actual girl, but you know still considers herself like trans in a way because she was born a boy but now she's like healed into a girl i'm not sure about that how it all went about uh and neither is she she's trying to figure that out she's also trying to figure out like the boy situation so she might have some feelings for Holly's brother Milo and he definitely has some feelings for Theo. 
Holly is not happy about that though because Theo's been mean to her all Holly's life and uh, she's like Holly and Theo are sisters now because of the coven and so she's like well my enemy should be your enemy too so I looks like that's gonna be hard <laughs> anyway um i'm really liking theo theo's really coming into herself uh it's it's so cute i love it i love it i love it <laughs> um what else do we have so we have leone so she has like gone after her brother um, Radley. Radley who went after Hale, you know, the bad, I want to say demon dude, but warlock who summoned demons thingy. Demon dude. Ish. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So Leonie's gone after Radley looking for him. Um, case you know, brother. I don't know. Um, in the meanwhile, she's um, she she's visited a dollhouse. So basically, there's this pretty ancient witch who keeps a lot of like witches around uh, as dolls, basically, so she can change bodies every now and again. Yeah, so one of the dolls, as it were, I can't say the name, I names are hard, okay? So one of the dolls um, is like, please help me, um, <laughs> and I, like slips Leone this key so Leone can like come and get them because apparently where the dolls are kept, you can use the key to get in but they can't use it to get out i don't know um basically they're asleep as well so I'd, i don't think they'd be able to do a whole lot on their own um so leone goes in and rescues this i want to say it's a guy but also which i'm not sure about that one i'm not sure about that one anyway um, minor character in the grand scheme of things, I think. Um, so far, anyway. So, um, rushes that person, <laughs> wakes up the other dolls, and wakes up the uh, old grumpy witch. I'm not sure she's grumpy witch, but she is grumpy when she's woken up, and like all her dolls are. Woo. <laughs> um, basically, this. Uh, doll has some information of where uh, Bradley and Hale could have gone and they end up going to what is it Egypt but no where did it end up going Istanbul so the dolls are in Italy and uh, they end up going to Istanbul <laughs> where they come across this like dig site and uh, there's a sentient witch there, like, keeping track of things. Uh, later, they follow this this witch. And they end up in the... A -A 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 I can't say that either. The ancient... Ancient city? Ancient island thingy? I'm, hi. Cats. Um so many things happening there yeah we'll see what happens there i don't know so far um they're in a a a a a a a a a a a a words names ah okay who else do we have that's like important so kiara she did kill her sister well she killed her her own, her sister that was in her own body. Complicated. Oh, and I mean, they're, they're identical twins as well, so. So weird. Uh, anyway, so Kiara's in Neem's body. La la la, la 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 around. 
and <laughs> so they the coven and such they wanted Neem to become um head priestess high priestess one of them and now Kiara's kind of become said high priestess person <laughs> she's like oh I like this power but I don't want to stay so she's she's just like waiting for something to happen while just being Neem She's also hooked up with Luke a couple of times, and I think she likes him. But, you know, so Neem kind of took Kiara's memories at some point, I think, when Kiara killed Conrad and such during the war thingy, before Kiara ended up in a, in a coma for nine years. Um, so Kiara's missing memories. Uh, not only has she, does she have to like read people around her to f like figure out who Neem is now and what's going on and all their relationship. This is a lot of hard work impersonating people. But she's at the same time trying to figure out her lost memories and such. Um, I think... She's an interesting character. I really like Neem, okay? And I'm not happy that she was killed. Um, but also, Kiara, Kiara is very interesting. There's a mystery there. And, yeah. There's something to figure out here. Is she as bad as we've been led to believe previously? Or... Is there something else going on? So basically, this book starts with, um, what was her name? Miranda, I think, who is, at the time, pregnant with, uh, Neem and Kiara. And she goes and sees this, did she see an oracle? She saw someone who basically tells her that one of her kids is going to be nice and the other's going to be evil. Wow. Okay. Um, so there's that. What else do we have? Oh, so there's one thing I've been wondering about. So we have witches and stuff, and we've heard about um, witch trials, and there's been wars and such. So I've been wondering about, like, witch finders or something like that. Turns out there's witch finders. And guess what? Luke's one of them. Nice little Luke. What? <laughs> but there's a twist here. So, um, Luke has, like, been stationed in, where are they? Hebden Falls, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> He's been stationed there to, like, look after, look for witches, basically. And... Well, he's he's not really into that witch hunting thing imaging, because uh, he has a past as well. Apparently, his mum was drowned, and his dad is an a hole. Um, but from what we've known about Luke so far, his dad wasn't even alive. So, plot twist. Anyway, so. Um, Luke's been stationed there to find the witches and he's like, no, there's no witches here. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that, um, Neem in this case, because he doesn't know Kiara's Neem, but he really likes Neem. So I think that relationship is real. Um, how that affects the Kiara twist and the whole thing, we shall see. I wonder what he'll say when he finds out. Because if I feel like eventually he's going to find out that Neem's not Neem. I'm loving this book. Honestly, I do I do wonder what's going to happen in the... <laughs> not, there's, uh, it's less than half the book left. There's definitely a book three. Okay, I'm, I'm going to check now. I'm going to check. Uh, yeah, of course. The Coven will return in HMRC. Human rights! Ugh. 
Well, we know what book three is going to be called. When is it going to come out, though? I knew it. I knew it. It's going to be one of those big-ass series, isn't it? I'm not complaining about it being a big series. I'm just... I don't want to wait for the next one. <sighs> ah, goblin mode. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading because... <laughs> I want to know what's happening. Um... I don't think I have anything more to update about because it definitely feels like an episode in long time series. Oh, there's one thing though um, that I'm really liking about this book. So we get like chapter number, chapter title, and then we get like so um, chapter 38, for example, is Kiara Hebden Bridge, UK Hebden Bridge, not Hebden Falls. <laughs> Hi Munchkin, hello. Um, we get <laughs> we get the we get the location of where uh, the person we're following currently following. Um, I really enjoy that. Bonus. It helps because um, that was one thing with book one. I couldn't keep track of where all the people were. Maybe that's why I couldn't keep track of who the people were. Oh, 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 okay, so, um, you know how Kiara's been, like, um, trying to f remember her memories? What? Um, so, th there's been one instance when she's been, like, um, she's been with, like, this hail dude, but also, there's someone called Helena there, so is this the Helena... That was high priestess that was executed or what's happening because helena did have an a, a relationship with hale at one point so i want to know more about this because helena like before her death she was very like white supremacist kind of a witch so how was she, I know she had a relationship with Hale, but was she in the, like, the bad people area? Did she do something there? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to keep reading. Bye! I've read a couple more chapters. I remembered something I forgot to update about. So, um, Elle, she found out her husband has been cheating on her. Something like that everyone's known around her. But she found out and she confronted him. And <laughs> in the heat of things, something happened. Like, she just went all red and kind of turned him into a statue in his office she thinks that she's he's in there and can hear her but also what the fuck happened <laughs> how did that happen yeah she's panicking now by the way so there's that okay bye Okay, okay. Basically, everything goes to shit. <laughs> so, um, Leonie's out in the a a a a a a a a a a a a the the secret land um of which she covered. I don't know. Um, Hail finds her, kidnaps her, basically and uh, kind of takes her to her brother who's like been tortured and stuff um he says he has a plan for her and he does he basically hexes her and um sends her into the hmrc those are the right letters in the right order yes uh, to assassinate the Prime Minister, the mundane Prime Minister, um, during 
Neems or you know Kira, uh, her coronation to become um, high priestess. What? What? Oh my goodness! Um, well, all hell b breaks loose. So Hale, um, he teleports, he's nearby, so he teleports um, Kira to him from the HMRC, okay, <laughs> there's a giant spider in it outside my window and like flies are getting stuck in it and it's kind of creeping me out. Well, Halloween. <laughs> so Hale um, teleports uh, Kira to him, uh, where he basically just lays out his plan like the evil Bond villain he is, uh, and and basically he's like, well, it's always been you. It's always been you, I love you. And she's like, well, why did you basically torture me to get all these demons uh, uh, to, yeah. Uh, so she snaps his neck, just like, boop. Well, and then she takes um, the seal of Solomon, which is a crown, puts it on her head, it's like, I'm gonna fix things now, I'm the badass bitch, and I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure, like, if she gets possessed, I mean, she takes in a bunch of demons, so I, I suppose she's possessed, uh, but also she's kind of doing it of her own free will, um, basically, uh, Tables turn and now she's gonna kill the world. Well, all the humans. Because apparently Gaia is telling her that the humans are killing her. So, um, Kira is now gonna kill all the humans. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, she stopped. Spoiler. <laughs> I mean, like this whole vlog hasn't been a big spoiler. So she stopped. Um, by... Luke's dad coming in and shooting her with a crossbow. Where the freaking hell did he come from? Who cares? Um, <laughs> yeah, and then Luke comes in and kind of rescues her from her dad, from his dad. Yeah, uh, that's the whole thing. That pff, that's the whole thing. That's a whole like battle scene thing. It's bloody amazing. Um, <laughs> and then, speed forward, all the girls like get, get together. And so Elle, Leonie, Shara, Sh Leonie's lady, <laughs> her partner, um, and Kira. But there are only three of them. So El, Leone, and Kira, because Helena and Neem are dead. Yes, so there were only three of them. I, I thought there were more. Anyway, they, um, they sort of meet up and like, more or less all was forgiven more or less oh that's the thing during um the demon possession where just before kira is about to take over the world she sort of gets her memories back and we find out what happened to conrad she didn't actually kill him she just wiped all his memory left him naked in the south of wales I hope we, we, he comes in in like book three because that poor man, <laughs> that poor man, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, so, um, the, the ladies, they are around, um, Elle's husband, Jess, so they, who's the statue still, and they're like, okay, we'll fix him, um, it takes, takes some effort, 
but they they do fix him he comes in he comes in he comes back and he's all like well i don't know what's happening now because it's still that whole thing they haven't resolved the his cheating on her um deal and the consequence of her turning him into the statue he's just like i'm very tired can we just go home uh i'm hungry that's that's where he is um <laughs> so and then and she's like yes but what do we tell milo and holly and he's like what do you mean we only have Holly. Milo was stillborn. So who's Milo? Who's who's the boy they've been raising? Kind of. Hello? We do find out. Apparently. <laughs> so. Um, back when Helena was with Hale, Kira was with a guy called Jude, and she doesn't remember what happened to him. He basically just disappeared. Well, she recognised Milo as Jude. He apparently looks the same. Well. Plot twist, Milo slash Jude isn't actually either of those people, he is Lucifer, he's bloody Lucifer, Lucifer has been in their lives for a very long time, what the fuck, what the fuck, all these revelations, also, so the last little bit we we see um, before the book ends and it's like to be continued. Um, so uh, was it Holly as well, or was it just Theo? I just read this, but it, I, I'm so flabbergasted. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So. Revelation made. Milo slash Jude is Lucifer. Cool. And then Theo turns uh, turns up with someone else. All we see is a foot stepping in. I think. I think that Theo resurrected Neem. This is my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Well, I need book three now. Thank you, please. That was blooming. That was amazing. Honestly, I wish they can make the these books into a movie. No, actually, no. Let's make them into a TV series because the special effects are blooming amazing and we need to see this like for real because <sighs> yeah yeah come on oh come on what we we need to see the special effects for real don't we mon munchkin yeah so amazing I don't even know what I want to say anymore do you know do you just want some attention oh little baby oh munchkin you're so cute you're so cute mm -hmm. little baby are you actually comfortable though are you leaving me are you leaving me hi puppy <laughs> uh, oh, and they had enough. Cool. <sighs> Amazing. 
I need more. I also need them in like real time. <laughs> no, I need the visuals because like just, I mean the plot is amazing but the special effects that we get, that would be amazing to see. We have the technology, let's make it happen. Yeah, that's my take. Let's make them into a movie slash TV series. I Probably more of a TV series because we could get more and a movie would probably cut out a lot of stuff. Yeah, let's make it happen people. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Anyway, um, when she came, do you have anything more to say? No. So, that is my vlog and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my ramblings. Uh, I shall see you all next time. I'm sorry for all the spoilers. Or am I? No. Bye. Take care. Oh, bye-bye.